I was just reading your your chart here and I am a little curious about what's going on so if you'd like to just sit down we can go over this Would you mind just confirming your name for me? Really? You don't have any idea at all what your name is? Okay. And do you happen to know your date of birth? Maybe we can look you up that way. No dice. Okay. Interesting. So... Okay, so that must be part of the reason why you wanted this exam. Oh, we're having memory issues. And is it with just long-term memory? Or is it also a short-term as well? A bit of both? Okay. We'll check that out. And I also saw that you can't sleep, right? Okay. We'll have to see if that's connected and maybe we can get that fixed for you. Now, what I'm curious about is in the reason for exam spot, it says something. says here that you've been having urges? What, what exactly does that mean in your words? Oh. All right. Well, I appreciate the honesty. That is a bit worrying. So... We'll just have to take this real slow, I think. Okay. Would you mind telling me when this started for you? The memory problems, the insomnia, the urges. When did you first notice that? Okay. You think it was a couple days ago. All right, and on a scale from 1 to 10, how severe have these symptoms been affecting your life? Yeah, I, I figured, yes. So, tell me a little bit about how it's affecting your life then. Okay, so no sleep, and you've had to stay away from other people. And you're not really sure how you got here. Hmm. Okay, so definitely more memory issues. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a little bit about your medical history, okay? So besides this, have you had any other previous illness at all? Right, major illness. Okay, so you think you got sick a little bit before this, maybe a couple weeks? And what kind of sickness was that? What were your symptoms? I see, okay. Alright, so you figured it was just a cold. Interesting. And any previous cognitive or behavioral changes in the past? Not that you recall, but you're not sure, <laughs> yeah. And any family history that I should know about? And any cognitive or behavioral changes with that? No dice, yeah. Okay. And what about your allergies? Do 
do you know of any? Okay. And medications? Not so much either. Yeah. All right. Do you recall using any alcohol or drugs lately? No, but you don't necessarily know. Okay. All right. So let me just take a look at your vitals here. So the heart rate was definitely elevated and your temperature is also elevated. Do you feel like you have a fever? Do you feel like your heart's pounding? Kind of. Oh, okay. All right. Well, interestingly enough, the blood pressure was normal. There wasn't anything weird with that. And oxygen saturation was fine as well. So just more that we have the elevated heart rate and we have the elevated temperature. So that's interesting. Okay. We got a little bit to go on, but let's see if we can figure out some more things. I'm going to sanitize my hands real quick. And for the purposes of this examination, I am going to need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Okay, excellent. Please let me know if you have any pain or discomfort. Or if you have any of the homicidal urges. Okay, give me a heads up, if you will. Okay, so... Let's take a look at you, shall we? All right. So, the skin is definitely reddened on your face, as well as your arms. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just going to feel your skin with the backs of my hands. Okay, that's definitely pretty warm. Right. Do you mind if I touch your face as well? Okay, I just want to. Just want to feel the temperature. Okay. And on the neck here. Are your muscles stiff at all? You look a little, a little rigid. Okay. Well, I'll just go ahead and make a note of that. All right, let's, let's take a closer look. So, I'm going to look at your eyes. I'm just going to get a little close here. I've ever seen that before. Ever 
first I just thought maybe the sclera was reddened, but it's the irises themselves. So. I don't know. Maybe, maybe burst a blood vessel. Hmm. That is strange. I mean, Hollywood movies, sure, but... But never in real life. Oh my. What to do with you? Okay. Go ahead and take a look at everything else. So, let's look at your nose next. Okay. I'm just going to have you tip your head back for me, please. Looks normal, save for the erythema. could just open your mouth for me. Okay. Good. Okay. So, certainly reddened as well inside the mouth and at the back of the throat. Okay. And would you mind just lifting your tongue to the roof of your mouth? Oh. Huh. Mind sticking your tongue out for me? change the speculum and then we'll take a look in your ears. Okay. If you could just sit still for me. Was that? Oh, yeah, okay. No problem. So, definitely don't want to look inside the ears, okay? Homicidal urges triggered by otoscopy. Okay. How are you feeling now? A little better? All right, so no go on the ears. Okay, let me just take a listen to your heart and your lungs, okay? Alrighty, 
And if you could just breathe normally for me, I'm going to listen to your heart first. And the mitral. Okay. All right. Well, I apologize. I'm being quite inappropriate, but it's just that I've never come across this before, nor heard of this happening before. Your case is very, very unique. So, I apologize for the looks of incredulity, just I'm not really sure what to do here, but we'll go ahead and press on. I'll try to keep my reactions to myself. Okay, if you could just take a deep breath in for me. And out. Strong lungs, Danya. In and out. Really strong. In and out. In and out. In. And out. In. And out. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna note that down real quick. go ahead and listen to your abdomen. Okay. All right, you can just breathe normally here. Your digestive system is very active, um, alarmingly so, I think. Okay, so I think I'd like to do a little bit of a neurological examination and we can suss out a little bit if perhaps the memory issues are neurological Perhaps the sleep issues, though, really I want to focus on the memory portion. Give me just a moment. I want to just record what I've got so far. Okay, so we're going to check your mental status real quick. Do you recall the current date? Okay, and do you know where you are? What is the place we're in? And what's the approximate time? 
even if it's just the time your appointment was at. Okay, so you remembered that just fine, right? I want you to repeat a short list for me, if you could. Can you repeat that for me? Good, okay. All right, I'm gonna ask you to name some objects for me, all right? First, can you tell me what this is? Good, pen. And what about this? Paper. Okay. And what about this? Okay. Clipboard. And this. Magnifying glass. This. Giant popsicle stick. Yes. Okay. What about this? Okay. Yeah, hair elastic, rubber band. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to have you do some more naming for me. Let's start with our number cards. So I have some cards with some numbers on them. I just want you to tell me what number you see. Two. Six. Zero. Nine. Seven, eight, three, and four. Good. And do you recall the first number? Two. Correct. That's correct. Okay. And... I am going to hold up some cards with some shapes on them, all right? If you could just name the shape for me. Pentagon. Triangle. Hexagon. Rectangle. Circle, parallelogram, yeah, <laughs> square, and diamond, or rhombus, although well, it's a little bit of a poor representation. Now, do you recall the third shape that I showed you? It's the hexagon. And what color was it? Purple. Okay. I'm going to hold up some colored gels here. And I want you to just tell me what color it is that you see. All right. What is this color? Kind of a blue green. Mm -hmm. And what about this color? Yellow. And this color? Red. Okay. And what about this color? 
And what about this color? It's kind of a hot pink color. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have you draw some shapes for me, all right? So, I have my clipboard right here, and you can have my pen. Could you draw for me a circle? And a triangle? Okay, and can you draw two pentagons that are intersecting? The spatial awareness is intact, right? Could you tell me about an event that happened two days ago to you? Two or three? Okay. Right. What about an event from five years ago? Five plus years ago? Can you tell me about something that happened then? Okay. All right, negative on both of those. Do you recall the short list that I had mentioned to you in the beginning of the neurological examination? Right. Cat. Orange. Bicycle. It's good. Okay. So you remembered that. Let's test your coordination a little bit. Okay. So I am going to hold up my finger here and I want you to touch your nose and then touch my finger. Okay. I want you to do that as fast as you can. And I'm going to move my finger around. <laughs> it's a little hard for me to coordinate, but I'm going to move it around. And I want you to keep touching your nose and touching my finger as fast as you can. Okay? All right, so if you could just touch your nose, my finger, nose, finger, nose, finger, nose. Finger, nose, finger, nose, finger, nose, finger, nose, finger. Okay, excellent. Now I want you to close your eyes and touch your nose. Okay, just close your eyes, touch your nose. Okay, very good. All right, and if you could touch my finger, touch your nose, okay, and close your eyes, touch my finger, and then touch your nose. All right, so just like that. Okay, very good. All right. I'm going to ask you to hold up your hands and have them palms together. And if you could flip your hand over so the palm is to the ceiling and flip it back and do that as fast as you can. Just like that. Can you do that for me? Okay, and if you could just switch hands so that you're doing it with the other hand. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so no signs of dysdiadocal kinesia. Coordination is good. All right. Now I am going to have you pick up a couple of objects for me, okay? So I am just going to hold my little elastic right here. And if you could just pick that up for me, okay? And put it down. And can you pick it up with the other hand? And put it down. Okay, and let's try our tongue depressor here. This one's new. <laughs> so if you could just pick that up for me. Put it down. Pick it up with the other hand. Put it down. Okay, let's try something. Oh, let's try the magnifying glass. It has a little bit of a different different way to pick it up. If you could pick up the magnifying glass for me and set it down and with the other hand pick it up and set it down. Okay, so that looks good. All right, let me test your reflexes. We'll see if there's anything going on there. So, all right. Just let me know about those urges, all right? We're gonna start with the Babinski's reflex. So I'm just going to be stroking your foot with the blade of my reflex hammer here, okay? If you could just let your foot hang here, okay? Just let it relax. Right, and I'm just going to stroke down. Okay, and the other foot, just let it relax. Right, and while you're here, just let your foot relax. I'm going to tap the Achilles tendon. Good. Okay. Let your legs relax, and I'm going to tap your knee for the knee jerk reflex. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead and we'll test your biceps here. So if you could just let your arm relax for me. Okay. Let me take the weight of it here. And I'm just going to put my thumb in the crook of your elbow while the rest of my fingers are around the elbow. And I'm just going to be tapping on my thumb, okay? Just relax your arm. Good. And the other side. I'm just going to wrap my fingers around the elbow and put my thumb right in the crook of the elbow. Okay. Right, very good. And I'm gonna lift your arm up and we're gonna test the triceps reflex. So just let me lift this up and let me take the weight of it, okay? Just relax. Okay, let me put that down. Let me put your other arm up. So reflexes look good. Okay, and if you'll give me just a moment, I have two objects to retrieve for our next test. Okay, very good. So we're gonna be testing the sensation on your face your arms and your legs. So I'll be using a cotton bud and a toothpick as well as my hands, okay? So I just want you to close your eyes for me and just tell me when you feel me touch 
your face. Okay? That's all you have to do. Alright, so close your eyes for me. Let me know when you feel my touch. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. And now I'm going to be touching on the arms and the hands. You just let me know when you feel a touch. Keep your eyes closed, okay? Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Mm hmm Good. And now I'm just going to be touching your legs and your feet. So you may feel on your knees, on your shins, or on your feet. Right? You just let me know if you feel a touch. Good. Uh-huh. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now I want you to tell me whether you feel a touch on the left side or the right side, all right? Okay, so I'll go ahead and keep your eyes closed. Right. Left. Right. Right, left, left, okay, and now on your arms and hands, right, right, left, right, left, left. And on the legs and feet, left, 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 right, right, right. Okay. Let's test with the soft and sharp objects. So I'm just going to test this on your jaw here. So this is our soft object, okay? And this is our sharp object. It's just a little, just a little pointed pressure, okay? All right, so I'm just going to be touching your face. I want you to let me know whether you feel a soft or a sharp touch, okay? All right. Sharp, soft, 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 sharp, soft, sharp, okay, and on your arms and hands, sharp. Sharp, soft, 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 sharp, and on your legs and feet, soft, sharp, soft, sharp, sharp. soft. Okay. And now I'm just going to test cold sensation. So the blade of my reflex hammer is very cold. Okay. Just test it real quick on your jaw. 
okay? And you just say yes when you feel the cold touch, okay? All right, keep your eyes closed. Yes. 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 Okay, on your arms and hands. Yes. 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 Okay. And let's do your legs and feet here. Yes. 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 Okay. All right, so a sensation's definitely intact. So Okay, interesting. So we figured out a few different things here, right? Elevated temperature, elevated heart rate, reddening of the irises, the the strength of your heartbeats, the strength of your lungs, homicidal urges triggered by the otoscopy, digestive systems really strong as well. Okay. I think... I don't think you're quite dealing with memory issues per se because you've done really well recalling it's just when we're talking about you as a person. So there's this loss of self. So not exactly memory issues, but a loss of self. And the insomnia and the urges. The insomnia, I mean, even though you've been running off of very little sleep, how do you feel? Do you feel alert and awake? Yes, yeah, it's just weird not going to sleep, okay? So you're not needing sleep, but you're not manic. You've been quite calm here, despite the couple instances of urges. I didn't think that I would be diagnosing someone with this, but... I think you've turned into a Martian. Now, don't laugh. I think you're turning into a Martian. Now, you mentioned that you had a sickness and primarily it was a lot of fever and a lot of headaches, right? And since then, you haven't really needed any sleep. You've had this loss of self. Your temperature has quite elevated, especially with your skin. Your skin's all turned a much redder color, and the irises have reddened, which is kind of a dead giveaway. Red planet and all that. But the temperatures, I think, I mean, even with your heart rate and your lungs and your digestive system, everything's adapted. So, the elevated temperatures, I mean, Mars is quite cold. So, one would need elevated temperatures to survive. And the heart rate, you definitely need, and your digestive system would definitely need to be more intense to survive. And with the air being so thin on Mars, your lungs would definitely need to be a lot stronger. 
So I think all in all, I think you've turned into a Martian. Now, I really can only diagnose this. I can't really tell you what to do with it. So you say you've lost your selfhood and you don't really remember the people around you or yourself. Now, this is the point where either you can try to keep connecting with that and maybe this, this transition is not set in stone. Maybe you can go back to being human, but I don't, I don't know for sure. Or you could embrace your life as a Martian. I don't know exactly how you would get there, but... I'm not really sure what to tell you. What I do know is that probably I should be sending you to a lab right now. Yeah, I should probably be contacting the government because this is way beyond my pay grade. But, I mean, you haven't actually killed anyone, right? Okay, um, well, I suppose that, you know, I think it might be better that we, that we find someone who's a little more well-versed in this kind of thing, right? So, I'm gonna call somebody and they might be able to give me a little bit more information. I think you should just go ahead and sit tight, okay? Do you need anything? Any water? A little snack. It might be a little bit. Okay. So, I mean, you can play with my tools if it makes you a little less bored, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give them a call. I shouldn't be too, too long, but just in case. Okay? Yeah, so. We're just, we're just gonna call them up. And I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, just sit tight. You'll be all right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like this video if you want to. Comment if you'd like to. And subscribe.